Hey, welcome to uh, TFR. I'm Mario Gear. Thanks for uh, stopping by. I know it's been a while since I've been updating to this channel. Uh, life happens, and I wanted to include you in the latest announcements about this channel and personal life in general. Um, in my past professional life, I was an automotive technician. And then around the end of 2014, I made the personal decision to leave that career to take on the full-time role to help my brother in being uh, family caregivers for our parents that were getting up there in age and their extended health concerns. So basically working late at night, I, um, you know, Working the uh, graveyard shift, you know, you know, looking after my parents and make sure that no surprises happen in the middle of the night. You've heard horror stories. I'll let you fill in those blanks. Um, I found myself up and needed to do something. And so that's when I started, uh, well, first this channel, then followed by my automotive channel. It gave me purpose to do stuff um, to keep me from uh, going stir crazy, so to speak. So now, um, we're in 2023. My brother and I are no longer needed as family caregivers. Rest in peace, Mom. I find myself looking for the next chapter of my life, for the next 20 year plus years, what I'm going to be doing. So I'm too old to basically get, go back into the automotive field. There are just too many young guns out there, so to speak. So I'll just leave it at that. Um, but I also want to try something new because basically I've, anything and everything you can imagine while turning a wrench on a car, I've done it and hey, it's taking its toll on my body. So trying to, you know, for the last part of my, uh, career. I want to take it a little bit easy. So basically I found myself watching a bunch of late night videos, uh, entrepreneurship of different types of businesses. And what struck me was basically hot dog and lemonade concession stand businesses, which I could see possibly getting into. And that's where I found, uh, a gentleman by the name of Ben Wilson, his uh, YouTube channel, hot dog, uh, cart store. And Ben basically talks about what he went through. He was also an entrepreneur um, in another life, I guess you could say. He had uh, basically, a, from what I understand, a other business. But I guess during the 2007-2008 recession, he found himself uh, out of business. And he basically didn't know what he was going to do. You know, take care of his daughters and his wife, his family. How he was going to put food on the table. And then he heard a story about a gentleman out of uh, Texas that came from the brink of the same situation he was in by selling hot dogs. So he said, hey, I'll give that a shot. And lo and behold, he became successful. And now he's actually took it a step further and he manufactures his own hot dog carts and sells them. Um, yeah, I'll have links to his website and whatever. But he also, as like a mentorship guidance, he's created courses that he offers. He has free courses, PDFs that he offers, as well as paid versions if you want to get into that, if you're really in serious. And, you know, that's kind of like how I followed it. I uh, signed, signed up, you know, signed up to his email got one of his courses so basically i signed up for uh ben's uh list for his uh free pdf which basically was this and it had a lot of good information um started following it and i uh basically first thing it asked me to contact my uh state's agricultural department find out if there were any requirements for uh that my state would have, and luckily enough, 
my state didn't have any of those requirements. So I was good to go. And then I was basically directed to my local county health department as well as local city uh, for business license or business tax license, however they, they call it. So um, I was able to reach out to somebody at our my local uh, county uh, health department. Um, he basically gave me uh, the gist of some of the things I could do, but he wasn't an expert in that the field. The person who, is a, who handles that program for for lemonade vending in particular um, was out on vacation, but I got her contact information, and I'll be reaching out to her shortly after I come up with some questions and concerns or things I think I may need to know. Um, some of the items are going to be like uh commissary issues like do i need to store my all of my equipment that i'll be using in my lemonade stand at the commissary or can i just use the commissary for cleaning after the use or whatever and then you know storing it and you know take it home with me or whatever i'm going to be storing my equipment so those are like this is one example that um I'm gonna have. And of course there was other things that I've had I had to ask. Um like unfortunately in my county or what I've been told for every venue that I want to participate in, I have to have an individual health permit. So meaning if there's like three or four different farmers markets or fairs or festivals. I would need a individual health permit for each one. And obviously in my county, it costs X amount of dollars per. And that's on top of if I can get an opening in there. So it's like hit or miss. So I'll, later on in this series, I'll be uh, taking you along with uh, me to various uh, farmer's markets to see the gist of it and try to talk to different um, operators and how they like dealing with the whoever's organizing that particular venue, are the problematic issues and that type of stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it on there. And then obviously I'm going to be uh, showcasing, doing unboxing reviews of some of the equipment that I'm starting to collect now for the use of um, for my lemonade stand. So, you know, obviously, uh, I can go with a standard, uh, you know, bar tender citrus press that you see those yellow deals, clamp deals, and you know, clamp deals that you're going to use um, just for getting started, you know, for lost low cost of entry into starting being lemonade. To, you know, I've even heard some people even using a an electric squeeze uh, or whatever they call the thing where you put the lemon and squeeze it to uh, for that aspect. But um, we'll go into that and um, in my reason for everything. So pretty much that is about it. Um, I'm also going to actually try to reach out to a couple of the people who. Um, for a Q and A session, um, you know, like one on one, possibly maybe I'll do a live stream if you guys are uh, want to do a uh, interview, like a Q and A live stream with uh, maybe possibly I'll get Ben to see if he's available, as well as um, a few other people. Um, I'll try to find some guests. I'll reach out to them to see if they're open to the idea and maybe we can have it. Obviously, Ben has his um, vendor-only type Facebook group called uh, Vendors United. Um, I wanted to sign up for that. I know he offers like a five-day trial, you know, to see if it's actually but something you want to do. And then obviously he has a monthly or yearly subscription to be a member of that group. And right now, like I said, my finances are a little tough right now between the commitments I have coming up in uh, November for me. I'll be uh, 
Now, if you or follow me on my uh, automotive channel, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but I'll be covering that this year. So I'll be probably going head on in heavily investing afterwards. You know, after that probably the second week in November or so I'll probably start getting into harder into the uh, about picking off the lemonade business um, but yeah there's like some things I need to uh, find out in the box when I talk to my local health department um, person of um, about the requirements because it may be in vain because of the fact that possibly by the time I'm ready to start this business venture, I need to be in a new county. Um, so it means I'm going to have to, you know, hold for new new rules. But it's also a good thing, too, because of the fact that I'm going to have to do this for any counties that I want to travel, participate in. I'm going to have to be in contact with those health departments to find out what I need to do to... Uh, operate in their counties and what their rules are and not every county is the same but we'll wait and see and see how it goes um yeah thanks for watching this and uh i hope you'll uh, subscribe uh i'll have this created into a playlist series that you can also follow on um if you're following me please do so Make sure you have the uh, notification bell turned on to all so you don't miss out. And um, follow me on all my other socials for any updates. And I uh, appreciate you uh, taking the time. And uh, I'll uh, see you uh, next time on the next video. Um, I may do a unboxing video um, next. So you can see uh, how that goes. All right. Thank you.